What's going on guys, it's Roland Blase. Today I'm going to show you three techniques. Three techniques when you're soloing to keep in mind so that you can sound really good and kill it when you're performing, guys. Listen, I perform all the time, guys. I'm about to reveal some secrets you guys need to apply to your soloing. Go ahead and stay tuned. Let's get started. Something that's good for me. Okay, guys, go ahead and like and subscribe the channel. Before we do anything, guys, like and subscribe, support this channel. I'm about to show you the three things you need to know when you're soloing that'll make your solo sound really, really good, guys. Guys, before we get started, what key are we in? What key are we in? A flat, guys, but it starts on what? Your F minor. It starts on your six. What's your chord progression? F, E flat, B flat, E flat. F minor, E flat major, B flat major, E flat major. So guys, those are your three chords throughout the whole song. That's the only movement. So what is the first thing we're going to learn here? Response technique. You're going to respond one octave with the other. One octave with the other, guys. So what did I do guys? I did a simple walk down. A simple walk down guys on my first chord. Since my first chord is an F, I kind of walk down the F chord. Da, 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 da. And then I responded with the F on the bottom. You understand? We're responding with octaves. What is the response technique? You're playing on the high octave and you respond on the middle octave. It's like you're talking to each other, you're communicating. You're not just soloing up here. You start soloing up here, you solo down here, then you respond again up here, then you respond again down here. So that's the response technique. And I have different videos on the response technique if you wanna learn more. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the link here on the screen. Go ahead and click on that video if you wanna learn the response technique. But we're gonna keep going, guys. We have two other techniques I wanna show you guys uh, before we apply all these techniques. So this next technique is a great technique to add to your solo playing, guys. Listen, what we are going to do, we're gonna turn the minor chords into the major nine chords, guys. We're gonna turn the major chords into the major seven chords. You're gonna see what I'm talking about, guys. We're just gonna add the extra note, guys. Watch what I do here, guys, watch what I do. Since I know we're on F, I'm not just gonna play F. I'm gonna add this note to F. I'm gonna add this note to F, and I'm also gonna add this note to F. Guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this regular F into an F major nine. You see that? I'm gonna add the E flat and the G. And you can even remove the F. You don't even have to play the F. You can just use these notes, guys. And I like to start with the G here. You already hear how nice that sounds, guys, look. These are like Gouillard techniques. And I have more videos on learning these Gouillard solo techniques if you click on the screen right here. Uh, but we're gonna do a solo using this. We're gonna turn the minor chord into a major nine. And for our D flat major, we're gonna turn into a D flat major seven. So watch how I do this, guys. Watch closely to what I'm doing. You hear that? So it sounds like this. So watch this, guys. You 
guys notice that? I'm turning my chords into major sevens and major nines, and I'm removing certain notes from it. Again, I take my regular F, I turn it into a major nine, and I remove certain notes from it. I remove this note from it, I remove the F, so I'm just using these three notes. And I have videos on using three notes to solo, if you click on the screen here if you want to learn more about that. And the last technique I want to show you guys is using chords. Using chords, guys, when you're soloing. So, uh, yeah, using chords. So watch what I do here. Watch what I do here, guys. I'm going to use a chord for this solo. So for my F, I'm going to use the major, major 7 version of F. So wa watch this, guys. I'm just going to focus on the major chord. You see how deuce that sound, how sweet that sound? Watch this, guys. And, we, and it's good to do it on a high octave, guys. Watch this, guys. So what else can we do? We can do chords in the place of the uh, D flat. Watch this, guys. See, chords, chords, guys. And you can even combine all these techniques get together, guys. Combine all these techniques together. Watch, I'm going to use all three techniques. I'm going to use the first technique. I'm going to apply the response technique. And I'm also going to be using the major chords, the major sevens and major nines. And I'm also going to be uh, using chords. I'm going to do all three, guys. Watch this. simple guys these three techniques you'll become a beast in no time good compa techniques guys will transform the way you play remember to use the whole keyboard when you're soloing that's my last extra bonus tip guys if you want more videos if you're a beginner and you want to learn how to begin soloing go ahead and watch this next video here it's very important you don't want to miss out on this this is Roland Blase signing out